In previous lesson, we have been created columns and rafters in grid 1 then created connection between them. In this lesson, we are going to model the end wall frame at grid 6. Now turn the select assemblies mode on. Then select all the column and rafter beams at grid 1. Press Ctrl C to start the copy command. Then pick the end of grid 1 for the origin. Move the mouse cursor toward the grid 6, then pick the end of grid 6 for destination point. Now check all the connections at grid 6. We found that the column at grid C, the base plate is missing. Now turn the select component mode on. We are going to copy the base plate at grid C to grid D. Now we are going to create side wall bracing. Double click beam icon on steel tab. When Beam Properties dialog open up, input prefix, name, profile, material and class like this. Then select the intersection between grid 1 and A for the origin. Pick the intersection between grid 2 and A for the second.
Now move this tube beam up to its designated position. Select tube beam, right click to show pop up menu. Then select move linear option. Press Ctrl F to open Application and Components dialog box. This is a demo and then, search for Tube Gusset, 20, Component. This one connects 1 to 10 hollow braces to beam or a column using a gusset plate. Now input the length of the edge of the gusset. Brace length on the connection plate. Distance between the gusset plate and the brace. Distance between the main part and the first picked brace. This one is gusset plate positioning. It defines how the gusset plate is positioned when a base plate is used. We select the gusset plate is parallel to the brace. This one is gusset plate dimensions. We select default option. Now switch to the gusset tab. We use this tab to control the gusset plate properties, shape and position, and clip angle. This is brace con tab, we use this tab to control connection plate, tongue plate, and end plate properties. We input connection plate thickness, width and height of the end plate. and then material grade.
name that is shown in drawings and report. This one is end plates option. Input end plate edge distance from the brace outer edge. Brace bolts 1, brace bolts 2 and brace bolts 3, we use these tabs to control the bolts that connect the first, the second and the subsequent braces to the gusset plate. This one is bolt group dimensions on connection plates. We input number of bolts, bolt spacing. Bolt edge distance is the distance from the center of a bolt to the edge of the part. This one is staggering of bolts. This one is bolt distance. It defined the minimum distance from the connection plate bolts to the intersection point of the main part and brace center lines. If a brace is perpendicular to the main part, the distance is measured from the main part center line to the nearest bolts. Save this setup as tube gusset 01. Now turn the Select Objects in Components mode on. Pick the web of the column for the main part. Then select the tube bracing for the secondary part, 
Then click middle mouse button to create the connection. As you can see the gusset is positioned on the top flange of the brace. Now we are going to change the gusset plate into the middle of the brace. Double click the component. Navigate to Gusset tab. In Gusset Plate Position on the Brace option, select Middle of the Brace. Then modify. 